Hey, what's up, people? What's up, fam? It's your boy, Sean Edwards, at the world premiere of Transformers, Age of Extinction, all the way in Hong Kong. No, this is not a movie set, but it is a concert stage, and Imagine Dragons will perform because they have hot new music on the movie soundtrack, and I'm going to show you how it all went down. You know how we do. Access to all the exclusives, hot new material. Sit back, watch, check it out. Just found a transformer. Humans are hunting us, but I fear we are all targets now. I'm so excited to be here, so excited to see the movie for the first time. What better place than well, I want to find out from you, because you seem to be a genius at doing this, and you're taking note of the whole international aspect of movie going. How does that work, and what's the game plan to take movies further around the globe? Well, I, uh, I my career started at Warner Brothers, which was always an internationally oriented studio. So I've always looked at material, and movies I've done have tra generally traveled very well. Um, you know, people are not that different everywhere. They want a particular kind of experience. There's a universality of that. And um, China, though, is you know an amazing world opening up to all of us, obviously. And and the idea for this movie to include it, it gave it a different scale. It gave it a different cultural connotation. It gave it a spectacular topography. I mean, look at this thing. You know what I mean? So it it brought a lot to the table, not just because it was international, but because creatively it was an exciting thing to do to the movie. Would this movie have not have happened without the Chinese partnership? Uh, no, we would have made this movie no matter what. But. You know, we can't, you know, and we would not have gone to China just because it's a big market. It's a fantastic market, and they've always um, uh, supported our films tremendously. But we had to have a good creative reason to do it first, and that's what came, that's what led the way. Then, then the businessmen took over. But that's what that's what led the way. What's the next untapped territory? What's that part of the world where you still can go in? It's still sort of like hasn't been touched by Hollywood yet. That you would like to explore? India, no question. No question. Although Nigeria is the country that makes more films than any country in the world, which is bizarre and crazy. Nollywood. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. Uh, I, I haven't even seen a few of them. Um, no, India is the one I think where it really is the next big, big place to do it. I've always done exploration my whole life. It's what I did as a kid. Did whitewater rafting and strange, crazy places and jungle exploration. So I'm up for going to a new territory. All right, well, I'll go to India, Nigeria with you. Film. Michael Bay is a brilliant director and, uh, and a terrific guy. Michael Bay is a genius. There's so much heart in this film and, um, and I'm really excited for people to, to see it. I think the audience is going to be thrilled. Who sent you here? Battle Cry. Uh, you know, it's a pretty heavy song. It's also got some kind of intimate moments to it. He didn't tell us what he wanted to sound like. He just he just told us a story and then he said create and we ran with it. This is not war. It's human extinction. We need a new army. This would be a part of it, something so big and universal, it was amazing.
watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South.